Welcome beautiful people, I am Chef B. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure to stay subscribe down below. For today's video, we're going to be styling this wig from RPGHair.com. And the wig that we're working with is this beautiful blunt bob wig. So as you guys can see straight out of the package, this wig is ready to be worn like right now. Do you see the lace? on this wig so i got this wig in eight inches it is a hundred and eighty percent density so that's going to give us like a natural type of silk press look this is their hd invisible clean hairline lace and girl what knots okay what hairline like look how super natural this is giving if you're thinking about getting a haircut like girl get this wig like this get this wig see your options like you don't even have to cut your hair if you're trying to go for a blunt cut type of look like test it out with this wig because she is giving so even though i'm using this wax stick to help with the, the lay down of the hair it already came laid down but i didn't want it to look too perfect i wanted it to have that natural look so i did brush out the little mousse slick back look that the wig came with and just go in with my hot comb to just give it that sleek like fresh perm type of look like i wanted them edges to be laid and ain't nothing lay my wig frontals like a hot comb so i got this hot comb at my beauty supply store it was like 20 dollars or something but you need a hot comb if you wear wigs on a regular now i'm gonna go in with this flat iron that i got from amazon so i'm just trying to straighten the bob a bit i'm not gonna give it that black girl bump you know that black girl bump that your parents used to give you when you go to school with that silk press but i didn't want to do the bump i just wanted the hair to be bone straight like a short bust down type of look and i wanted it to look like as if it was my natural hair so we're just gonna go for that natural type of i just got a haircut type look so now it's time to slick down my edges and I'm a lazy girl so I'm not doing the ball cap method like I can't. It's too much work. I'm lazy. Ugh, I can't. So I just take my little wig, wig cap and as you guys can see it has seen a lot of days because it looks old as heck but I love that brown look. Now I'm going to go in with this Morphe press finishing powder and just give the lace a little bit more of a contour look especially since i'm already wearing makeup and the lace was a little bit a bit too light so i needed it to darken a bit to you know blend better especially since my face is already contoured and all that good stuff and this is what the inside is looking like i like to tighten the band in the back because i want the wig to look snug and this is my technique of putting on my wig so if you have an issue with maybe the wig is a bit too small for your head like I tend to have that issue most time because I got a natural shape P head. Okay, like I got a natural hump. So I tend to do that method of applying my wig, putting it on so that I make sure that the front is fitted, then I can work with the back. Now, I don't know if my eyes are just not set centered, but a lot of times my wigs aren't always centered. So that's why I go with side part most of the time because my eyesight just never gives me a super straight centered feel. So anyways, I'm going to go in and cut off around the ear part to make sure that it's laying flat. As I said, I want to wear this like it's my natural hair. So I need to make sure that it is laid and slayed. Okay, so I'm just cutting off the excess lace on the ear before actually gluing the hair down. Now I'm just taking a little bit of excess here in the front out like you don't have to do this but because of how my natural hair lining is um, I want to make sure that it mimics that so it doesn't change my features because a lot of times we do change your facial features depending on depending on how the hairline looks. So I want to make sure that it's mimicking my natural hairline as possible. And I don't have hair coming all the way down in the center like that and girl I almost blind myself spraying the got to be glued in my eyes so take your time i always like spray it on my fingertips and dab it because it gives more control so that you don't overuse and then it makes your lace look gunky and cakey like you don't want that so i tend to use my fingertips just to give me some control and then i go in with my blow dryer for that super melted look
now i'm just gonna go in with this wig band for that ultra melted look now this is a tension method just to make sure that everything is melted for the gods you feel me and then i'm just gonna comb out the hair like this hair was so easy to style this is definitely a beginner friendly wig just because they did literally everything for you like the knots already bleached all you have to do is just cut off the excess lace and glue that baby down like that's all the technique that you would need to learn to do this but because it's almost super perfect you won't need to do a lot just follow a simple tutorial like this one and you are good to go now don't mind my big old scissors okay because i can't find my hair scissors for the longest and i need to order new one on amazon because this is just giving very ghetto okay it's not giving very professional but just ignore that part that's not important and as i said i'm just gonna cut off that extra hair in the front just to make sure that it's you know the lace is mimicking my hairline so as you guys can see like i made sure that i separated that hair before i cut make sure that it actually looks good and suits me and all that good stuff and then my thing is i like to do a little swoop action i like to swoop to do i like a little bit of baby hairs edges in the front now a lot of people won't do that or like that but it's my preference and whatnot and i i can't i can't do without the swoop so i like to do big swoops with this hair you do not need to do it if you don't want to because it has that sleek you know effortless look already but i'm just extra so i'm gonna do it and then i'm gonna put some mousse on it to make sure that girl lays and stays okay Now I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of got to be not got to I keep saying got to be it's been E B I N oh my gosh I'm using a little bit of E B I N on the parts that are lifted when I cut off the lace and then I let it air dry and this is the final look I am absolutely in love with this bob she is giving even though she's blunt cut and really short she is bouncing she is moving like she's never been stiff she's never going to be stiff like. No ma'am, no ma'am, she's moving. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok at DamnDashev. Let me know what you guys think about this unit down in the comments. And I love y'all for watching. Go on, big up on yourself. Bye, guys.